Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Tattoo Awakening, All Kinds of Divine Beasts Carved on My Back. Chapter 31, Five Adjudicators. That's wrong, Zung Rong muttered in his heart, Master Lang Mie is said to be a man, so this. Before Zung Rong could clearly see the woman's face in the sky, the breath in the sky suddenly accelerated again and disappeared into the sky. Boom, suddenly, in front of the city guard's mansion, a person appeared out of thin air, and a fierce shock wave rushed toward everyone around him. However, what is surprising is that this powerful shock wave was just loud thunder and light raindrops. When everyone subconsciously made resistance movements, they discovered that the power of the shock wave was just like the breeze blowing on the face, without any threat. Only then did everyone see clearly that it was a woman who appeared out of thin air, and everyone breathed a sigh of relief. It's just that the officers and soldiers in front of the city guard's mansion still felt as if they were facing a formidable enemy. Everyone looked at the woman who was walking lightly with lotus steps, and their expressions looked particularly nervous. Everyone is guessing, who is this woman who suddenly appeared? Zhang Rong was also thinking that he was now sure that the woman in front of him was definitely not Mr. Lang Mie. He is not a wolf slayer, but he is able to fly in the air. Among the inheritors, apart from those who inherit the awakening bird bloodline, there are only adjudicators whose strength has reached the diamond level. Could this be another Lord Judge? Who could it be? Zhang Rong was filled with doubts. In front of the city guard's mansion, no one else thought about it that much. Everyone looked at the woman who came forward curiously. The woman was dressed very simply, just an ordinary white t-shirt and tight jeans. With neat short hair, he brings a very dashing energy when he walks. I have to say that this beauty who appeared out of thin air has a very good figure. She has an absolutely golden proportion figure, especially the two huge lumps on her chest, which are particularly eye-catching. But what Shu Mo paid more attention to was this woman's face. This woman has a very distinctive appearance. Usually when men look at a beautiful woman, they look at the eyes first, then the straight lines or the mouth. But the woman in front of me has no particularly outstanding facial features. She has single eyelids, thin eyebrows, a slightly flat nose bridge, thin lips, and a slightly yellow face. But just such facial features, combined together, give people an inexplicable pleasure, allowing people to remember each other at a glance. When Shu Mo traveled into this world, he once thought about the appearance of the partner he was looking for. He felt that his partner did not necessarily have to be good-looking, but he must be attractive. And the one in front of him completely fits his aesthetics. Lord Yuying, it turns out you are here. Just when Shu Mo was immersed in the woman's attractive appearance, Zheng Rong finally recognized the woman in front of him and quickly stepped forward to salute. Everyone couldn't help being surprised when they heard what Zheng Rong called the woman. When they looked at the woman again, their eyes suddenly changed. Looking at the entire alliance, there are only a few dozen figures among the adjudicators who can make Zheng Rong, the admiral, respectfully called, Sir. Lord Yuying, among the top 15 adjudicators, which one is nicknamed Chao Rikshasa? Shut up! You pretty rickshasa, don't talk nonsense, be careful to get yourself into trouble. That's right, Chao rickshasa is a good person among the people. He just takes things out of boredom. Please understand one of Lord Yuying's taboos. Yes, yes, I found it. Lord Yuying is the most beautiful woman among the judges. Don't talk nonsense. After knowing Yuying's identity, everyone talked a lot, but they didn't dare to speak loudly, for fear that Yuying would hear it and cause trouble for themselves. Do you know me? Yuying glanced around briefly, and finally fixed his gaze on Zheng Rong's epaulette. Admiral, five-star gold, he's pretty strong. Can you tell me, is this the Yanjing Fortress? Yes, yes, this is the outermost defensive wall of Yanjing Fortress. I don't know, Lord Yuying, you are. Didn't you report that a platinum-level monster appeared here? Ah, hearing this, Zheng Rong looked a little uncomfortable and said with a dry smile, well, my lord is tired from the journey, why don't you take a rest first? I'll introduce the situation to you in detail. No, I have more important things to do. Get rid of that monster. I'll leave right away. Yuying raised her hand to interrupt Zheng Rong and asked casually, Do you know that you have a man named Shumo here? A new recruit with five-star gold strength and a bloodline. Yuying didn't care about anything else, but described everything related to Shumo in detail. She was ordered to come here, and her general asked her to take Shumo to the Alliance Center as soon as possible. 
As long as she brought the person there, she would be rewarded heavily. For this reason, Yuying even gave up on the star-level crystal core that was about to be obtained and rushed to the Yanjing fortress. Ah, Zheng Rong was stunned when he heard Yu Ying's words, and subconsciously looked towards Xu Mo. Xu Mo also felt strange, but before he could say anything, another energy fell from the sky. A strong man with veins all over his body, two meters tall and with an aura as strong as Yu Ying's, appeared in front of everyone. Yu Ying, why are you here? The strong man saw the moon shadow, his face full of surprise that could not be concealed. Do you even need to ask? Yu Ying glared at the strong man angrily, don't steal anyone from me later. The strong man was stunned for a moment when he heard this, then he showed his white teeth and forced a weird smile. It's Lord Yan Bing, it's really him. Who is Yan Bing? Is he strong, stronger than Lord Yu Ying? Bullshit, Master Yan Bing is one of the top 10 powerful adjudicators. Oh, it's him. I know that his blood origin is a serrated mosasaur, which is super powerful. Comma. Someone who recognized the strong man's identity burst into exclamations on the spot. But before everyone could finish being surprised, three auras that were no weaker than Yan Bing and Yu Ying appeared in front of the city guard's mansion. Hey, Yan Bing, Yu Ying, you guys are so fast. This person is mine, no one is allowed to steal it from me. You guys are so annoying. When these three people appeared in front of everyone in front of the city guard's mansion, everyone except Xu Mo went numb. The soldiers who knew these three people even let out bursts of exclamations. Oh my god, how could it be possible, how could it be possible, why? Why is this happening? Morong, Maitreya, Lang Mie, my god, there are three judges, no, there are five judges in total, my god. Is something big happening? Why are there so many adjudicators appearing here at the same time? At this moment, beads of sweat were rolling down Zhang Rong's forehead, but he had no time to wipe them away. He also couldn't figure out why so many adjudicators appeared in his jurisdiction. Logically speaking, for the letter of request for help that he reported, it would be enough for one person from Lang Mie to come over. Why did five of them come over at once? Are they really here for the sky-splitting demonic ape king? Zhang Rong suddenly thought of what Yu Ying said to him, and his heart skipped a beat. Could it be that? Chapter 32. My brain is broken. Xu Mo looked at the five adjudicators in front of him with fighting spirit in his eyes. Although his current strength has not reached the level of the five adjudicators in front of him, it does not affect the fighting spirit in his heart. Have you found Xu Mo? Lang Mie looked at the crowd around him with a cool expression on his face. Anyone caught by his gaze could not help but feel as if their body had just been cut by a sharp blade. The other four adjudicators did not speak, but they were all looking at the crowd around them. Obviously, the purpose of all the judges appearing here is completely consistent. Master adjudicators, are you all here to see me? Shu Mo heard the smell and took the initiative to stand up. I am Shu Mo. I wonder what you, sir, do you want to do with me? Are you Shu Mo? All the judges' eyes instantly focused on Shu Mo. In an instant, five extremely powerful forces locked onto Shu Mo almost simultaneously. My lords, Zheng Rong was shocked when he saw this. He was about to say something, but was thrown away by a tyrannical force. The Arbiter is so domineering in his work. He finds the target and clears the place without anyone else involved. Although they had no hostility toward Shumo, they had each told their master that if they brought the person back intact, they would be rewarded heavily. This puzzling task couldn't help but make all the judges have a strong interest in Shumo. Therefore, after Shu Mo reported his family status, they couldn't help but feel tempted to test Shu Mo. Platinum, Yu Ying was the first to withdraw his energy, with an expression of lack of interest. Immediately afterwards, Maitreya, Lang Mie and Morong also withdrew their energy and looked at Shu Mo with doubts in their eyes. It was puzzling that their general wanted to bring such a weakling back to the Alliance headquarters. However, Yan Bing didn't make so many twists and turns. He strode forward and stretched out his hand to Shu Mo. Shu Mo, right, my general wants to see you, so come with me. As he spoke, Yan Bing reached out and grabbed Shu Mo's shoulder. Seeing this, Shu Mo suddenly frowned. Almost at the same time that Yan Bing grabbed Shu Mo's shoulder, Shu Mo just let his shoulders sink and broke away from the other party's hand. Why should I meet your general? Seeing this scene, the other adjudicators were stunned. 
not because of Xu Mo's words, but because Xu Mo broke away from Yan Bing's hand. Although everyone could see that Yan Bing did not use his power against Xu Mo, but for a recruit whose strength was only platinum, the strength Yan Bing used was definitely enough to restrain the opponent. But no one expected that Xu Mo could break away from Yan Bing so easily. Ha, huh. Yan Bing was also startled for a moment, a trace of surprise flashed in his eyes. He didn't expect Xu Mo to be able to break away from him. Captain Xu Mo, don't pay attention to that stupid guy. Let me introduce myself. I am the Judge Maitreya. I am here to invite you to the Alliance Center to discuss important matters under the orders of my General Hong Yu. At this time, Maitreya, who always had a warm smile on his face, walked between Xu Mo and Yan Bing and extended an invitation to Xu Mo. Maitreya, don't steal people from me. Lang Mie's face was gloomy, and when he looked at Xu Mo, his eyes softened slightly. Xu Mo, I am Lang Mie, the master of my spirit tiger general. I want to accept you as my disciple. Come with me. Morong also stood up at this time, Xu Mo, my general has invited me. A bunch of rude and reckless men. Yui and Qian Zhao came forward and smiled at Xu Mo Zhao. Xu Mo, let's go with my sister, my lady saint has always been optimistic about you. Seeing that several adjudicators had extended invitations to him, Xu Mo was slightly surprised and a little confused about the situation. Only Yan Bing looked angrily, what nonsense are you talking to him about? Boy, come with me quickly. I once said that Lang Mie's temper was not very good, but in fact Yan Bing's temper was even worse in comparison. Faced with the competition from other judges, Yan Bing decided to cut through the mess quickly, pushed Maitreya away, and grabbed Xu Mo again. In the end, Xu Mo just ducked and dodged Yan Bing's hand again. Master Yan Bing, did I say I wanted to follow you? Buzz, a majestic momentum suddenly shot out from Yan Bing's hand in all directions. Zhang Rong and others who were just about to get closer and turn around were pushed back hundreds of meters away in an instant. As a new soldier, what qualifications do you have to say no to me? Yan Bing snorted coldly, with anger hidden in his tone. Xu Mo sneered, the phantom of the Chongming bird suddenly appeared behind him, and it was true. Seeing this scene, Zhang Rong's eyes suddenly darkened. The other soldiers were stunned when they saw it. Fuck, what's going on? Who can tell me? Masters of the adjudication, are you going to arrest Captain Xu? What did Captain Xu do? It doesn't feel like a crime, but it's hard to understand. What's going on? Captain Xu is too trusting. That's the Lord Adjudicator, a being in the Diamond Realm. It's over, if it's going to be bad, Lieutenant Xu, don't be impulsive. Comma. The soldiers were all worried about Xu Mo. After all, if it hadn't been for Xu Mo, there probably wouldn't be many people who could be standing here now. But the problem is, Yan Bing doesn't care about that much. Seeing Xu Mo putting on a posture, Yu Yu read www.yuakonshu.com Even the bloodline beasts were released, and their eyes suddenly froze. The other adjudicators were also surprised. Xu Mo, his brain must be broken, right? What does he want to do? Is this your plan to fight against Yan Bing? You are really out of your mind. Why did the Lord ask us to take him back? Why do I think things are getting more and more interesting? Can you tell what Xu Mo's bloodline beast is? Cannot tell. Come on, come on, place your bets. If you bet on Lao Yan, you'll pay 0.05 points, and if you bet on Xu Mo, you'll pay 10,000. While several judges were joking, Xu Mo and Yan Bing were already facing each other. The two of them directly used their own chi energy to collide with each other without any fancy. The violent wind burst out in all directions in an instant. Except for Xu Mo and the judges, no one could stand in front of the city guard's mansion. Even the thousand jin stone lion in front of the city guard's mansion was overturned and pushed to the corner. The moment Xu Mo and Yan Bing fought against each other, it was enough to make people jaw-dropping. At the end of the first round, Xu Mo looked calm and relaxed, as if he had not fought with anyone just now. Yan Bing's eyes on the other side were full of fighting spirit, but he was obviously more confident, as if everything was under his control. Come again. Yan Bing roared and rushed towards Xu Mo again. Xu Mo was unafraid and took action almost at the same time as Yan Bing, rushing towards the opponent head on. The two punched almost at the same time, and they were facing each other head on as before. 
Boom! With a violent explosion, a mosasaur rose into the sky, and at the same time, Shumo's Chongming bird rose into the sky. A strong wind suddenly shot out in all directions again. Chapter 33 Manner The showdown between the new recruits and the judge. This should have been a competition without any suspense. But the result is surprisingly evenly matched. Shu Mo and Yan Bing were both repelled by each other. Yan Bing's eyes finally became serious. He looked at Shu Mo with eyes filled with fighting intent. Based on that blow just now, Yan Bing can be sure that Shu Mo is on par with him in terms of strength. This kind of situation is rare even among adjudicators. At the same moment, Shu Mo looked at Yan Bing opposite and frowned deeply. I am indeed a little overconfident. If it weren't for the full release of the power attached to him by the Chongming bird. I'm afraid I'm lying on the ground now. The difference between platinum and diamond is definitely not just a grade difference. Come again. Yan Bing roared again, and the two of them moved almost at the same time. Then the next second, the two fought together again, constantly launching fierce attacks on their opponents. The duel between Yan Bing and Shu Mo was completely a hand-to-hand -hand battle without any fancy. It's like two ancient ferocious beasts encountering each other and launching crazy attacks at each other. I'll go, it's amazing, this Shu Mo is not easy. Maitreya, who was watching the battle, was the first to speak out. He had fought against Yan Bing before, and it was also a pure physical fight. Therefore, Maitreya is the most qualified to express his opinion here, especially his strength is just above Yan Bing. According to Maitreya, among the judges, there is no other person besides himself who can compete head-on with Yan Bing in terms of strength. But he never expected that the new soldier that the commander asked him to take back would actually be able to compete head-on with Yan Bing in a head-to-head -head battle of strength. And it's not just defensive, it's offensive and defensive, and the two sides are evenly matched. This is what surprised Maitreya the most. Ah, I knew I would suppress Shu Mo, what a pity. Morong shook his head and sighed. Oh, I really like this little brother more and more the more I look at him. Yu Ying smiled sweetly and winked at Lang Mie who was standing aside. Lang Mie, I'll help you chase senior sister, and you can give Shu Mo to me, okay. Lang Mie snorted and said nothing, but his eyes were fixed on Shu Mo. During the battle, after another fierce collision, Shu Mo and Yan Bing each retreated ten steps and stood still. Shu Mo, you are very good. Yan Bing rarely praised others. He looked at Shu Mo with eager eyes. You're not bad either. Shu Mo never disrespects anyone when it comes to criticizing others. Seeing this scene, Zhang Rong and others who did not dare to come forward could not help but be stunned. Damn it, Captain Shu and which Lord Adjudicator are in a tie. Oh my god, is Shu Mo so strong? Did he show mercy when he fought against us? It's so powerful. No wonder you contain the platinum monster. It turns out that you are really so strong. Comma. While everyone was talking, Yan Bing's eyes became more serious than before. Shu Mo, if you only have this little power, I advise you to come with me. After meeting the general, I will teach you without reservation how to use your power to its full potential. Yan Bing's words made Shu Mo dismissive, and he pretended to be in front of him. He couldn't be more annoying. I think you are a little too arrogant. I will not show mercy next time. When Yan Bing heard this, he couldn't help being shocked and then furious. A strong smell of gunpowder filled the air between the two. Then, come again. Yan Bing was really serious this time. His whole body was wrapped in a ball of green light, and the shadow of a Mosasaurus beast suddenly appeared behind him. Shu Mo was unafraid and rushed towards the opponent again. Similarly, the Chongming bird appeared behind him, but this time the Chongming bird was surrounded by a ball of golden light. Chongming bird's talent skill, Fury, is activated. Shu Mo's chi was like a rocket taking off into the sky, rising straight up. Almost in the blink of an eye, his strength climbed into the diamond. Boom boom boom. The two punched each other again, each collision was like a thunder on the ground, and the shock wave exploded in all directions but was eliminated by the four adjudicators. If there were not four adjudicators here, I am afraid that the city guard and even the city wall would have been damaged due to the fight between the two. Come again, continue, have fun, ha ha ha. Whoever is afraid of whom, come on. Shu Mo and Yan Bing both got into a fight, their majestic auras kept rising, and beast shadows kept shooting into the sky from where they were dueling. 
Because the shock wave released by the collision between the two gradually became stronger and stronger, the expressions of the four adjudicators changed one after another. Okay, that's enough. When Chu Mo and Yan Bing collided and separated again, a voice suddenly came from the sky, followed by a person standing in the middle of the duel between the two. It was Maitreya. At this time, the smile on his face had disappeared. His eyes looking at Yan Bing were full of worry. Seeing that Maitreya was unhappy, Yan Bing immediately restrained his momentum. He didn't want to try the consequences of upsetting Maitreya. Shu Mo also stopped and looked at Maitreya curiously. He didn't expect Yan Bing to listen to this guy. He could feel that Maitreya's strength was higher than Yan Bing's, and he couldn't help but feel a little itchy in his heart. He still had one move he hadn't used yet. He didn't know if he could defeat Maitreya if he used it on him. On the other side, www.readwn.com, everyone was dumbfounded when they saw Shu Mo and Yan Bing fighting evenly. The most respected thing in the army is this kind of hand-to-hand -hand combat, but this is the first time for everyone to see people at the level of Shu Mo and Yan Bing. FCK, 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 I can only say FCK now. It's so awesome, so shocking, so strong, Lieutenant Shu, even if you don't even stand up to the wall, I will obey you. Colonel Shu and the judge are tied. Is it really a tie? Shu Mo's strength seems to be better than before. His promotion speed is really too fast. I'm afraid we can't keep this great asterisk 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 here. At the same moment, the judges on the side looked at Shu Mo with disbelief in their eyes. They all thought that this was an asymmetrical competition, and no matter how strong Shu Mo was, he could never match Yan Bing. But reality gave them a hard slap in the face. Shu Mo, I take back what I just said. I hereby solemnly invite you to go to the Alliance Center. Brother Mo, you are so great. Come back with me, please. Our Holy Lady General is here, and all of them are beauties. When the time comes, I will help you chase after any beauties you like, okay? Slut Fox, put away your arrogance. Yan Bing put away his previous arrogance at this time, came to Shu Mo with an apologetic look, and took the initiative to extend his hand. I'm sorry, Shu Mo, I was abrupt just now. I hope you can ignore the past grudges and follow me to the Alliance Center to meet my general. Just meet me and I will never force you to do anything. After the battle just now, Yan Bing finally realized how wrong he was and his attitude changed instantly. When Zhang Rong and others saw this scene, they were once again stunned. Chapter 34, Qinglian. Shu Mo didn't show much interest in the referee's solicitations and requests. He politely waited for several people to finish speaking before saying with a smile. My lords, adjudicators, I, Shu Mo, am able to achieve today's achievements and strength, all because of the cultivation of the Yanjing Fortress New Corps and the Admiral's Mansion. There are many orphans like me in the New Corps. I believe you can understand my feelings for this place. When Shu Mo said these words, he acted very emotional, but Morong immediately noticed something. Brother Shu, don't say anything. I understand you. As long as you come back with me, I will immediately ask General Cancer to divide more supplies for the Yanjing Fortress and the Admiral's Mansion where you are. Upon hearing what Morong said, Maitreya also reacted and quickly interrupted. Brother Shu, as long as you are willing to join my general, supplies and other matters are trivial. I can also promise you on behalf of my general that I will provide you with an unlimited amount of monster crystal cores for your advancement. Brother Mo, what they said can be done by my Saint Lady General. As long as you are under my general, you can do whatever you want. Yu Ying's tone when she said these words was obviously a pun, and the seductive look in her eyes didn't mean the intention was too obvious. Slutty Fox, you've gone too far. How can you do anything like this? Lang Mie was a little annoyed. Shu Mo, I don't dare to promise you anything else, but Yanjing Fortress is the area under my general's jurisdiction. I can guarantee the resources here and yours in the future. Lang Mie probably had never said so many words at once in his life, let alone spent so much effort to win over people. However, just when everyone was vying for Shu Mo and offering various favorable conditions, a long sound suddenly came from the sky. Morong, Maitreya, Yuying, Lang Mie, Yan Bing, you are so unkind. Several judges suddenly heard this voice and their expressions changed. What happened? How did he know we were here? That's right, why is that guy here too? Who leaked the news? Damn it, this is going to be bad. 
several judges were obviously very wary of the sudden appearance of the owner of the voice. As soon as the words fell here, a figure suddenly fell from the sky. It was a handsome young man wearing a green gown with long silver hair. He is Qinglian, the third-ranked judge. Qinglian's bloodline beast is the wind god Pterosaur, a beast that can fly in the air and is extremely fast. Paired with Qinglian's unique fast sword, it is called the first sword of the judge. Therefore, when seeing Qinglian appear, even the most physically powerful Yan Bing's expression became particularly ugly. Obviously, he has no confidence to compete with this person. Qinglian walked forward slowly, his pace was strange. He looked ordinary, but every step he took gave people an inexplicable sense of oppression. Xu Mo understood it the most. The Qinglian in his eyes at this moment did not look like a human being. Even though the opponent didn't have a sword in his hand, the opponent looked like a peerless sword. As he got closer to Xu Mo, the force of the sword became stronger and stronger. I'm afraid this person has reached the state where man and sword merge into one. Xu Mo's pupils tightened. Unlike Yan Bing before, the Qinglian in front of him gave Xu Mo only one feeling. Man and sword unite. People are swords, swords are people. There are no flaws, giving people an unrivaled feeling. Call out. When Qinglian was only the last ten steps away from Xu Mo. A majestic sword energy suddenly burst out from Qinglian's body, directly surrounding Xu Mo. Xu Mo's pupils tightened again, and the power of Chongming Bird's bloodline instantly penetrated his limbs and bones. Buzz. The power of the sword and the power of the blood collided, and a majestic buzzing sound surged in all directions. Xu Mo refused to give in, and actually used the power of his blood to resist Qinglian's sword. Qinglian is showing off again, can't he try another trick? Isn't it interesting to act cool and show off in front of these ordinary people without even looking at the place? Hey, that's not right. That boy Xu Mo actually withstood Qinglian's sword power. No way, that guy is platinum, and he actually. HMPH, Qinglian's face is swollen. The five judges were astonished, and Qinglian also noticed, with a flash of surprise in his eyes. He did use his sword unexpectedly to test Xu Mo. But he didn't expect that Xu Mo actually blocked his sword and didn't even take a step back. No wonder his general made him travel all the way to Yanjing Fortress to win over such a platinum-level young man. No wonder Yu Ying and the others would spare no effort and offer such generous terms to win over Xu Mo. Based on his performance just now, Qinglian recognized that Xu Mo had this qualification. Xu Mo, I am Qinglian, the judge. On the orders of my general, Niu Mo, I am here to invite you to join my general. When Qinglian said this, Zheng Rong and others were immediately shocked. General Niu Mo, the second-ranked existence among the twelve generals. Damn it, he also wants to recruit Xu Mo. It turns out that Master Qinglian is under the command of Master Niu Demon, no wonder he is so powerful. Xu Xiaowei has soared into the sky, Yu Yu reading www.yuakanshu.com Oh my god, is it possible that he really wants to become the next judge? However, Xu Mo didn't speak, he just looked at the other party coldly. What Qinglian did just now didn't seem like an invitation to herself. What he hates most is being tempted, whether intentionally or unintentionally, intentionally or unintentionally. Qinglian seemed to notice something, bowed and saluted Xu Mo. It was abrupt just now. Brother Xu, if you are willing to join my general, I can make a promise to you here. All the treatment I personally enjoy now is the treatment you receive under the command of my general. Qinglian's words made Yan Bing and other judges gasp in surprise. Among the adjudicators, not only are their levels of strength, but the treatment they enjoy is also divided according to their respective strengths. With Qinglian's ranking, the resources enjoyed by them can be said to be more than those of the five of them combined. In comparison, the conditions they just offered pale in comparison to Qinglian's. It can even be said that Qinglian's words are equivalent to defining Xu Mo as the 22nd adjudicator. None of the five adjudicators can afford such a promise, but Qinglian can afford it. Then, respect is worse than obeying orders. I am willing to join the Bull Demon General's command. Xu Mo is a straightforward person. He has already admitted his mistake and offered such generous terms. What else can he be dissatisfied with? Okay, Qinglian was overjoyed when she heard this, and suddenly asked, I would like to ask Brother Xu, what is your current level of strength? Xu Mo replied calmly, I just broke through to platinum two stars. 
Hearing Shu Mo's words, the other five judges' eyes widened in an instant. The next moment, everyone's eyes were focused on Yan Bing. Chapter 35 Judge Trial The two stars of platinum and gold fought back and forth with Yan Bing, Maitreya and others, including Qinglian. At this time, the eyes looking at Yan Bing seemed meaningful. Before Qinglian showed up just now, he had actually been hiding in the dark watching the duel between Shu Mo and Yan Bing. Otherwise, he wouldn't be so eager to show up and test Shu Mo's depth. In the end, I didn't test it out, so I had to ask directly, but I didn't expect that the direct question would lead to explosive news. Yan Bing's face didn't look good at the moment. When he looked at Shu Mo, he wanted to devour him in one bite. Looking at the eyes of his companions looking at him, he wished he could find a crack in the ground and crawl in. Two platinum stars, lower yourself by one level. There is no doubt that if Shu Mo is as strong as himself, then there is absolutely no way it was a tie just now. The loser is 100% his. After Yuying and others were amazed, they suddenly realized that when they looked at Shu Mo's eyes, they all felt regret. If they had known Shu Mo's true strength earlier, they would have offered more favorable conditions earlier and roped Shu Mo into joining the gang. As a result, Qinglian, the latecomer, now takes over and draws Shu Mo into his camp. Qinglian was excited in her heart, but she didn't show anything on the surface. He waved to Shu Mo. Shu Mo, let's rush to the Alliance Center now. The general is already waiting there. Hey, wait, Yu Ying suddenly said at this time, why are you so anxious? Yanjing Fortress said before that a platinum monster appeared outside the city. Qinglian, go and deal with it. Yes, yes, we gave you our people, but you can't take all the benefits. The task of cleaning up the monsters belongs to you. Maitreya is obviously also dissatisfied in his heart. He can actually give the same treatment as Qinglian, but it's a pity that it's a step too late. Which, at this time, Shumo raised his hands slightly embarrassed and said, My lords, I have dealt with the platinum monster outside the city. What? The six adjudicators almost said in unison, looking at Shumo in disbelief. The platinum monster is not an ordinary monster. Even for the judges, it is very difficult for the lower ranking ones to deal with it. Shumo is only a platinum two star. Even if he is tied with Yan Bing, no one would think that he can be a people solve it. Sir, Shumo is right. The platinum monster was not only killed by Shumo, but the monster also signed a slave contract with Shumo. At this time, Zeng Rong finally had a chance to interrupt. The six judges were numb. One or two of them looked at Shu Mo as if they were looking at monsters. Platinum versus Platinum, and let the monster take the initiative to sign a slave contract. Weird things happen every year, especially today, and they all have something to do with Shu Mo. Without the involvement of the Platinum monster, Qinglian was naturally more anxious to bring Shu Mo back to the Alliance Center. He now has no way to judge Shu Mo's strength. He is eager to take Shu Mo back to the Alliance Center and let his general evaluate Shu Mo's true strength. At this time, if you stay in Yanjing Fortress for a moment longer, there will be more risks. If something unexpected happens midway and Shu Mo joins another camp, he will definitely be severely punished by his general when he returns. Seeing Shu Mo and several judges walking away together, Zeng Rong and others couldn't help but sigh. But they knew that since Shu Mo tamed the platinum monster, this day would come sooner or later. It is impossible for a powerful being like Shu Mo to stay in a small place like Yanjing Fortress for a long time. At the center of the alliance, Lingu and several other generals looked strange when they saw General Niu Mo returning after a long journey. Niu Mo, have you dealt with the matter over there? Why haven't I heard you mention it? The bull demon general who had a deceptive name but actually looked gentle and elegant, gave Lingu a playful smile. Tiger, you are so unkind. Do you five think you are doing things perfectly? Hearing what Niumo said, Lingu and others suddenly became startled. Lingu was the first to react and blurted out, you didn't let Qinglian go to Yanjing Fortress, right? What do you think? Niumo asked, we have more than 20 little kids who are a little slack now. I think it is necessary to add new blood to enhance their sense of competition. Lingu smiled dryly, I don't think there is a good seedling coming out of Yanjing Fortress. The five of us have nothing to do, so we decided to bring him back and train him well. Stop coming, Niu Mo sneered, those little asterisk 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 can't slack off for a day or two. 
Do you think I will believe you if you use this to make excuses? Hearing what Niumo said, Lingu and the others suddenly became confused and became even more worried. But, Niumo changed the subject, those boys should really be tightened. I heard that one boy almost lost his life in the hands of a platinum monster. Furthermore, the arrangement of the 21 adjudicators has its own limitations and lacks competitiveness and crisis awareness. The most important thing is that beasts are frequently appearing in various places, so there should be fresh blood to add in. Before I came back, I had already asked the boss for his opinion. He wanted to start the adjudicator selection competition. You happen to have the same idea, Lingu, so let's hold one at the Alliance Center while I'm back. After hearing the words of the bull demon, the five generals looked at each other with a look of thinking in their eyes. Judge Trials, the boss proposed it. This message sent a strong signal to several people. But the Holy Lady General immediately raised a question, www.readwn.com, Niu Mo, we do have insufficient manpower, but we can't hold the trial so carelessly, right? Quote. Yes, according to the judge's strength standards, once the news is released, there will probably be many people suitable for selection. As long as people with diamond level strength participate, then just one selection will last a whole year. Cancer also said raise objections. It's not that troublesome. Niumo smiled faintly, there is no need to set too many thresholds and selection requirements. Even if the strength is reduced by one level, it must meet the requirements of the judge. Well, this is possible. Lingu agreed with Niumo's point of view, then only those who can kill platinum level monsters alone can pass the selection. What do you think? Hey, the selection conditions for this audition are set well, and a time limit is added to prevent anyone from taking advantage of others. General Glacier also agreed. It just so happens that we, the human elite, can take advantage of this trial to relax the muscles and bones of monsters everywhere and let them know that we humans are not easy to bully. Hong Yu said with a fierce look in his eyes. The other generals looked at me and I looked at you. They thought that the conditions proposed by Niu Mo, Lingu and others were the fairest at present, so they all nodded in approval. Since everyone has no objections, let's spread the news. In three days, the audition stage of the adjudicator selection competition will begin. Agree, I have no opinion, comma. With several generals making the decision, the news of the judges' selection competition and the requirements for participation quickly spread around the world as quickly as possible. Suddenly, all parties were shocked, and countless people learned the news and took action one after another. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.